Here we go. Do you need to boost your networking skills to bring more paid clients into your business? Is it time to improve your communication and leadership skills? In this educational presentation, you will learn tips to save time crafting any type of presentation, how to gain insights into, in, into structure and organization, and how to discover transferable parallels between speaking and marketing for your business. It was 36 years ago that our speaker first walked in the meeting doors of the El Fandango restaurant in Old Town. And just like you, invited to attend a skill building series? Yes, she is still an active member of Toastmasters using the skills and self-confidence gained there. Being a small business owner, she recognized the need for effective speaking skills, networking practice, and leadership techniques. And after conducting over 3,500 presentations on site in 13 countries, plus being a virtual presenter since 2010, are you ready to learn some of her top tips that you can immediately apply to your business with our session on how to communicate your brilliant business ideas, let's welcome distinguished Toastmaster, Cheryl Roush. Cheryl. Hey. Mr. President, especially our fellow guests and our visiting dignitary. Wow, let's jump right in with some speak and market like a pro tips that I can share with you on how to communicate your brilliant business ideas. And what's interesting about this is that there are parallels that we'll take a look at. Everything about this meeting has been building on how to be a better startup, how to create your business, and how to really be a leader in your organization. So the handout, if you would please, Mark and Zoom Master, post that into the chat. And you'll also be seeing the images up here on the screen. Feel free to capture screenshots on your desktop as we go forward. Thanks to Toastmasters, I've been able to speak at business events. And one of the greatest tips that I'll share with you in how to build your business is to use your voice at other events to help enroll, recruit, and let people get to know you, what you do, because when they know you and like you, they want to do business with you. And thanks to Toastmasters, it has helped me build these skills, including for speaking at large conferences with two weeks notice, replacing a speaker in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, with a standing room only audience of eight. 850, then speaking on the world stage in Washington, D.C. at the International Convention with 3,000 people in the audience and broadcast globally. I've had the pleasure of keynote opening and closing on presentations and agendas that you might recognize some of these people. Absolutely delightful, and there's no way I could have done that had it not been for the safe environment to practice speaking skills in Toastmasters. It was 36 years ago that yesterday that I walked through the doors and Pamela, you were right there with Sharon Elam, greeting me at the doors of that Mexican restaurant in Old Town. I've also presented in sports arenas. This is me in front of 5,000 people in a convention keynote closing the event, and four days later, a second convention of the same size. Again, could never have done it. So are you open to some ideas? This will help you regardless of how large, how small your presentation audience is. So let's jump in. On to page two inside of your handout, here are some of my top tips, including starting with a mind map to get the ideas out of your head. Then from that, then you start organizing and chunking those related thoughts and concepts, and then you move into crafting your structured content. Let's break this down a little bit. If you, like me, have started preparing for a speech on yellow lined paper, does that relate to you? Yeah, but this is, I guess this is what we thought it was supposed to be like. However, the lines throw us into left brain linear thinking, which blocks the right brain and creativity and flow. Instead of starting a speech like this, what if we were to start with a mind map instead? 
you put the whatever the topic is that you're going to be speaking on in the middle of it and start about the one o'clock. All right. For Reebok, this is 1300 on your mind map created by Tony Buzan, by the way. And I had privilege of speaking on a program with him. So then start rotating your piece of paper around as you are writing what your ideas are in free flow. So utilize this mind mapping as you're going around the circle, then just get the ideas out of the right side of your brain. Then you'll be able to go back and sort them. This is a mind map that I actually did. I was speaking for the Carlsbad Chamber of Commerce, which is one of the largest in California, by the way, definitely the largest in Southern California. And I, my topic was speaking for business owners. I did the same process that I'm sharing with you to do. From this, I was able to create that 45-minute presentation and a 50-page workbook manual that I actually sold back of the room that day. These are easy to do. The concept is don't judge the idea, even if it's non-positive, because that may be a pain point, something that you can overcome from the objections. So then also on page two in the handout, how do we start structuring that? This process I learned right there in Voyagers, and we need to learn three different parts of a body structure. So the opening, the body, and the closing of the presentation. So 10% in a seven-minute presentation, as an example, 10% 10, 10 of your overall time will be committed to grabbing people's attention. As you saw for this presentation, it was a pattern interrupt to open with questions that name potential pains that this presentation can solve. Very simple type of format. So whatever it is to grab the audience's attention, then they need to know that it's relevant to them. As we go into the opening, what is the overview? In this educational session, you will learn one, two, three particular points. After the opening and that they're listening because it's relevant to them, then move into the main portion of your presentation, which accounts for 80%. This gotta know, need to know, nice to know may sound very familiar to fellow Voyagers because it was created by Dusty Rhodes, one of our longtime cherished members. And matter of fact, Dusty Rhodes Park in Ocean Beach has been named for him. So the gotta know information, and if your time is ever cut to be shorter, you need to present the gotta know. If there is extra time, then move into the need to know. But if some reason your presentation is cut short, cut out the nice to know. Otherwise, this is the structure of the priority of a pyramid, if you will, of the body of a presentation. And then the remaining percentage, 10%, will go back into the closing or the conclusion. Summarize, let people know what it is that they learned. Maybe circle back to what the opening is and present a call to action. How does this relate in our club sessions for the experience of a seven minute talk? It would be one minute for the opening, five minutes for the body, and one minute again for the conclusion. This is your basic structure. Use it as a guideline. You may be able to modify things to be maybe 5% of the opening and 5% of the closing, but it still gives you a really good format to use. Here's one of the first big parallels between speaking and marketing. Dr. Stephen Covey from his seven habits of highly effective people. This was the second principle. Begin with the end in mind. How does that relate to us in speaking? I use a concept of build backward. Begin with that end in mind of who is the audience? What is it that they need to know? And based on that is your objective, that's a desired results or outcome, start writing the closing of your presentation. What's the premise? What is it that you want people to do as a result of hearing your presentation? Then build into the body of what is the supporting information they may need to create their call to action of, yes, I need to do that then create the opening. It will make it so much easier in how you present your presentation. And here's my concept called the circle back. However it is that you are closing, wrap it back up into the opening. 
it is like having a, a beautiful gift that you are presenting to people. Use these techniques for both your public speaking, regardless of how long or how short a presentation, and in your marketing promotions as well. The same formats absolutely parallel. So in this very fast-paced educational session, you learned tips to save time crafting any presentation. You've gained insights into structure and organization, as well as discovered the transferable parallels between speaking and marketing for your business. Voyager's Toastmasters Club can help you with all of these benefits to your startup business, being an entrepreneur, your current business if you want to level up, and for leaders in organizations today. We invite you to join Voyager Toastmasters.